I'm Dr. Miller and today we're going to go over heart anatomy and positioning. Today we're going to look at the heart. The heart's the most important muscle in our bodies. It pumps more than 100,000 times a day, over 8,000 liters of blood to a network of arteries, capillaries, and veins that are over 100,000 kilometers long, all inside our body and all pretty much while we're not paying attention to it. It does all these things on its own. It generates its own electrical impulses. And what it does, its main function is it pumps. It's made up of four chambers, and these four chambers are separated by valves. These are one-way valves, so it's like a closing door. It's a, it's a one-way door where blood can f flow one way, but when it comes the other way, the valve blocks it. Okay. So we're going to be looking at that right now. The four chambers of the heart are the right atrium, the right ventriculum, the left atrium, and the left ventriculum. Here's the right side. This is the right atrium. On the right atrium, we have a valve that connects the right atrium to the right ventriculum, which is right here. And that's called the tricuspid. The tricuspid valve. The tricuspid valve separates the right atrium from the right ventriculum. The right ventriculum has a valve called the pulmonic valve. It's called tricuspid, by the way, because it's formed of three leaflets, or um, it's made of three flaps or cusps, and these can only go one way because of, because of an anchorage system called corde tendine, um, which, which make it, like we said, make it a one-way door. Blood can go one way, but when it comes the other way, it blocks it. So the blood comes to the right atrium from the vena cava superior, right here, and the vena cava inferior right here, flows from the right atrium into the right ventriculum by way of the tricuspid valve. In the right ventriculum, it passes through the pulmonic valve. The pulmonic valve into the pulmonary trunk. Okay. From the pulmonary trunk, the blood goes into the lungs, it gets oxygenated, and then it comes back to the left atrium. It comes back to the left atrium via the four pulmonary veins. Now this is blood that's rich in oxygen, but there's still pulmonary veins because an artery is anything that goes from the heart away. A vein is anything that comes into the heart. So this is, these are the four pulmonary veins that are from the lungs right up here. Okay. And this is where the blood comes back into the left atrium. From the left atrium it passes into the left ventriculum via the mitral valve. Okay. Mitral because bishops used to have these hats called miters and they would have two sides, um, two flaps to them. And that's why this is called a mitral valve because this Instead of these other ones, the tricuspid, the pulmonic, and the, um, the next one we're going to look at, which is the aortic, have three cusps. The mitral has two, only two cusps. Okay. From here, the blood passes to the left atrium, into the left ventriculum, then goes through the aortic, passes through the aortic valve, into the aorta. Now the aorta, when it comes out, we're going to look at this because this is important for the positioning of our stethoscope later on. Most of the heart sounds we hear centrally or on the left side, but there's one sound that we hear on the right side, which is the closing of the aortic valve. The aortic valve we hear on the right side because when the when the atria, when the when the <laughs> when the, um, it's going to come to me sooner or later, when, when the aorta comes out of the right, of the left ventriculum, it passes behind the pulmonary trunk and comes more towards the right side. Now see, we're here on the right side. This means that when it's coming out, we can think of this as the heart. This is the right atrium, left atrium, right ventriculum, left ventriculum. When the aorta comes out, it comes out kind of sideways, comes up, down, up, across, over, and down. 
So it's going, as we can see, it goes behind, up, across. And as you'll see, I'm going to make sure that it goes over and down. And from there, it, it takes a more central route, goes through the diaphragm into the abdominal cavity. So, this is heart anatomy positioning.